Do you know what a capital strike is? We all know what labor strikes are when workers say, we won't work unless you give us higher wages. But, but what's a capital strike? Well, I'll tell you in a moment because it's happening in Alberta right now, but first some background. Alberta's NDP Premier, Rachel Notley, never actually thought she'd become Premier. Honestly, I don't even know if she's enjoying it because before she accidentally won the election, she was like Elizabeth May of the Federal Green Party, a bit of a crank who never had a chance, so she really just used her position as a taxpayer-funded pundit. She was a professional protester, really, always bashing the province, paid for by the province. It's the same job her dad, Grant Notley, had when he was perpetually in that tiny opposition party as leader of the NDP in his day. So here's a taste of what Notley was like, especially in regards to oil and gas, before she was accidentally elected. Take a look. Oil sands activities contaminating the water supply in the lower Athabasca region and industry monitoring of this threat has failed abysmally. Force companies to stop the growth of tailings lakes and eliminate them as soon as possible. Even the village idiot couldn't deny the significant impact the oil sands have on the environment. Tell industry no urban drilling. So she's a hater. So imagine how scared she probably was when she actually had to run Alberta, the province she so obviously doesn't like. It would be like some Occupy Wall Street kook actually being told, okay, you're the bank president now, run it. It's like a bad remake of that Eddie Murphy movie, Trading Places. It's Billy Ray's vase, right? I own this vase, and I can play like Harlem Globe try to shit with it, right? Okay, you want Mel Lemon shit, right? Hey man, I'm sorry about that. Perfectly all right, William, it was your vase. That's a cheap vase, man. That was a fake, right? I think we paid $35,000 for it. But I seem to remember we estimated its value at $50,000 for the insurance company. <laughs> you see, Mortimer, William has already made us a profit of $15,000. <laughs> you want me to break something else? No. Yeah, that's Rachel Notley as Premier. So Notley turned for help to the people she knew and trusted. Her husband, Lou Arab, who's the union boss with QP, the Public Employees Union, and she handed over control of her Premier's office to a Toronto NDP lobbyist named Brian Topp. Here's how crazy he is in his anti-oil sands ideology. Hard cap on emissions, to price carbon, a home and industrial retrofit program, getting out of coal, getting an urban mass transit program, and getting fossil-fueled cars out of our cities. Now, Top is from Toronto, so he's not even an Albertan. So he doesn't care about Alberta's future. Ten out of 12 Alberta cabinet ministers, chiefs of staff, are NDP mercenaries from outside Alberta. They're using Alberta as a laboratory of every NDP fantasy of what to do if they ever get power, including power over oil companies, thus their obsession with carbon taxes and green taxes and taxes and taxes and taxes. Well, as I told you in this video, literally hours after their budget was tabled, Shell Canada canceled a multi-billion dollar oil sands project called Carmen Creek, killing 1,450 jobs. And then the day after the budget, a major oil sands company called Meg Energy announced it was laying off more workers, totaling 30% of their total workforce. Not just that, but Meg announced that it was cutting their capital expenditures this year from $1.2 billion originally down to $280 million. That's things like construction, physical plants, factories, if you like. So not only has Meg cut 30% of the company's staff this year, but a billion dollars they were going to spend, they're now not going to. And here's the interesting part, and the terrifying part, and the sad part. The company's shares then went up 13%. Why? What does that mean? Well, it means that the world's investors, which these days means people who manage pension funds, really, are telling companies, don't invest in Alberta. If you reduce the amount of money you put into Alberta, we will like you more. If you keep money in Alberta, we will devalue your company. We will sell your stock. Shell made the decision to bail out of Alberta before they put their Carmen Creek project in. Meg is already in Alberta, so they just decided not to expand and be a lot leaner. The world's investors said, that's right, those are the right decisions. If you have a golden goose, keep it out of Alberta, Shell. 
If your golden goose is already in Alberta, Meg, well, minimize your exposure because the NDP are going to try and kill it. We don't yet have the full statistics on this year, but the last projection, projection that I saw was that capital investment in Alberta was on track to be down by $20 billion compared to last year. Uh, but that was before Shell canceled Carmen Creek, and that was before this NDP attack budget removed any doubt that the extremists are in charge, and that was before Justin Trudeau was elected prime minister. So back to a capital strike. A capital, of course, just means money and buying equipment with money. If you've got an oil sands project in Alberta that's already up and running, you can't move it. You probably can't shut it down. So you do what Meg did. You slow walk things. You lay off who you can. You try to survive the next four years of being kicked while you're down by a government full of NDP haters. If you haven't built your project yet, like Shell, you say adios and you head off to a different country. That's called a capital strike. When investors just say, yeah, no thanks, there are still ways to make money in Alberta, of course, probably even in oil and gas. But uh, I say this now before Notley unveils her royalty tax hikes and her global warming tax hikes still to come. Oh, and we haven't seen Justin Trudeau's carbon tax plan either. So let me ask you, if you had your life savings or if you were a professional investor in charge of thousands of people's life savings, let's say at a pension fund, would you pour your life savings into Alberta with Rachel Notley and Justin Trudeau still not even done their attacks? Yeah, me neither. I'm not being un-Albertan. I love Alberta, I'm from there. But I'm not crazy. Once in a while, radical socialists like the NDP call for a general strike of workers. Everyone should just strike. It's a political statement of solidarity. It doesn't really work that way for capital. I mean, a business that can make a go of it will still try. No one's going to shut down their company in solidarity for another company that's having a tough time. But a fact is a fact. Because of Rachel Notley and the risk of Justin Trudeau, the smart money is fleeing Alberta. We've got a capital strike. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.